but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight Suffocating, I'm waiting, and always 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Hello? You hear my voice? Ladies and gentlemen, hello? Hello, hello? Mic check. Hello. Oh boy. They should be hearing me. Oh. We hear you? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just making sure, like I said, I'm not the best commentator. Once again, welcome back, though. Welcome back, one and all, to the Season 5 Playoff Semi-Final, $600 on the line. Team Old School 90 versus Ben and Diximus. I am your host, Fantastic Rages, former Frag Nation Champion, current Hall of Famer. And once again, I am here to commentate the rest of these finals, or rest of the playoffs, excuse me. We are going to be watching the POV of Old School 90, and we are watching the WAF. Watch yourselves. The crew spotted some uniforms around here. We got this. I know for sure this is going to be an intense match. All players on this team, Ihardo, Sedrock, the WAF, all very good players. I know Nate takes Williams, and then they showed up yesterday. Gonna be a very intense, and we got damn right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen. Fan favorites. Got a uniform right there. Good to go. Try some smoke. Smoke coming out. He's being asked to back up. I don't think anyone's down yet. Everyone did back up. Two left, one right. But now old school 90 have all control middle. And they got all the boxes. This might not be good. I'm all done. Let's go. Pushing up. Really, really aggressive. We got Nawaf with the spur rival. Sajak. Oh, no, excuse me. No, off with the variable rifle, excuse me. Sadrock with the burst rifle. And it looks like Hardo has a sniper. And it looks like the other team, it looks like Ben and Dixman went down to water and they're going to rotate and get all the boxes. This means now that all teams are going to have every box. So this this first engagement that we're going to get on them, well, I guess the second one, right? Everyone's going to have a lot of things to throw. So this, this, is, this next team fight is going to be really dependent on who goes down first and what gets thrown. Yep, all three players. Larry, Larry just switched places. Hmm, looks like Noaf just want to hit that water box. Which is fine, I mean, he has a bomb and a smoke shiv. He's doing, he's perfectly fine. Very slow start, I understand, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, this is the semi-finals. A player going down, beautiful headshot coming out uh, at Hardo. Gets the finish, and gets traded out! Bomb coming in! It's a beautiful bomb, gets the finish! Lost one shot, he gets countered! Hardo is a, gets trade out right away from the other sniper. That bomb was really close to killing the off too. I, I'm surprised he didn't go down to that. Two v two action now. Noaf spawns teams of pain. That's Boeing's down to one shot. Both players, Noaf putting down a lot of damage. Not able to down anyone though. He does. So it looks like Hardo uh, spawned with the other player that he, uh, that I traded out with, and it was able to kill him. So now they're up 19-18. Dean's getting throw. Both his teammates are smoked. Bomb coming out from the wall, trying to help his teammates. 
Get Williams with the one burst though. All players are down from old school 90. Noff was trying to get in there to help his teammates that were smoked, but Boyum's gone to all that box and put him down with that one burst. And Noff is only down to 9 mil. I mean, not much he can do there. Now it's 16 to 18. Team Benedictimus can now hit middle map, get all the boxes, and it's about 10 seconds in, and let's see who strategies. Cedric's about to get pushed here. Watch my ass. All Good done. Go. Let's go. And once again, old school now, you just walked up to middle, no problem. I'm not I, I'm not sure what Ben Dixon is. Spots the sniper rifle, gets him down weak. I'm surprised they didn't hold middle. I guess they want to back up. Careful, middle is hard to hold with all the smokes. Oh my goodness! Natex, Natex and Boyum's right. They were in middle the whole time, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke coming out. Both players are down. Sedrock is down and off. Hardo gets it down, though. Hardo trying to get the finish, trying to do something. Game the revive. He has a reviver. He gets the off up. They're backing up. Smoke coming out from, from the wall. He smokes him. He's one shot. He got comboed. He's down. Got, gets the finish. It's just the off now in a 1v2 situation. It's, gets the body shot through the smoke. It's Boyums. Kings of Pain and, and Boyums, though. Does, does it get the down push? And then Cedric with the one burst. Oh my goodness, Cedric coming in and helping his team, and 14, uh, what is this, 14 to 15? 14 to 15, okay. Fourteen of fifteen, old school ninety, and Ben Dixon is they they it started off slow with that full that full team rotation from both teams rotating around the entire map to get all boxes. Oh, and the walking shot on the back. They didn't wait, 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 wait. Sedrug just one burst executed the guy down here. I think or wait, did he not? Or no, there's another down. Wait, did Sedrug not just kill someone down here? Or no, Natex? No, Natex did die. So if I'm not mistaken, Sedrug. Trade out Natex with uh, Noaf. I think he won burst execute him unless he shot twice. He was pretty far. He was on, he was on catwalk. I'm not sure what happened there, but Natex did die. Thirteen to thirteen now. Let's spot another player down here. I'm not sure who's down there that now though. That that player's gonna be a little bit that player's in a, a little bit of a pickle to be honest with you. They team shoot this correctly, he's probably gonna die coming up. Unless he stays down there. Seven minutes left on the clock. Both teams tied at thirteen to thirteen. Oh, and the wolf does find Jinx and Pain back here. I think I think he's alone. I don't think this is what Chinks should have done. He's a, he's alone here. He needs help. All three players now are on him. He has one person on the hill, but he's getting pushed. He's gonna die. He only has a sniper, ladies and gentlemen. He he's dead. Yep, I, I, that is not the correct play. I don't believe from Chinks and Pain. Come up behind the team with a sniper and then just to die like that. I think that's a very bad move on his part. Now he has his team at disadvantage by one kill. Never mind, Hardo immediately gets traded out right away, and we were right back to a tied game. Lot, it seems like a lot of miscommunication, a lot of weird plays going on. Jinx and Pain pushed alone, then Hardo went, immediately got killed and traded him out. And now we're right back to 12 and 12. No office is about 480 parts off his double upgrade. Once he gets that double upgrade with that variable, he's gonna become a much bigger problem. Oh my goodness, the team shooting that just came out, I'm not sure who died. I would assume it's harder with a sniper. 
Can't really see who's the player next to him. I would assume Hardo got caught cross map pre aiming. Oh, beautiful smoke. Almost a beautiful smoke. Yes, it was Harlow that was killed. He spawned behind him. No off with the down through the smoke. Harlow's behind him trying to flank him. Sedjak <laughs> with the team shooting, one burst at him. And then with the down. Them killing Hardo, making him spawn behind him, kind of messed him up. Got them team wiped over here. They should have been aware that once they killed Hardo, there's a possibility of him spawning behind them. And now he spawned behind him and flanked them on. Got them all killed. That fucker's dead. Now 11 to 9, team old school have a nice little lead. Bendixmas has to, and once again, Hanny is getting sniped. He seems to be going back and forth to this sniper here, Chains and Pain. I'm glad you're covering my ass, man. Fuck, can't keep going like this. Let's see him take this. I'll well, do that smoking, but I'm not. Oh. And then someone does get stunned here. All players are stunned. And the, with the double. Noff is going to get traded off from Natex. Gets finished. Natex trying to get some kills for his team. Going down, though. And that's on the all wipe. 10 to 6 now. Yeah. And the seven, three minutes on the clock. Sedjok and Hardo are pushed up into the spawn. This player alone is going to be out of kit 3v1. His teammates are not going to spawn here. Unless the Nai Dogs are watching them. Sedjok getting shot on the back. Though. Sedjok getting down, getting help from his team, uh, or not getting help from his team. And Chainsaw Pain does get help from across the map. He, and he smokes Nawaf. Oh no, he doesn't smoke Nawaf. Nawaf perfectly times that mantle and stops the smoke. He's one shot. He, oh, getting the aim down glitch. Oh, and he does down Chings and Pain. Beautiful play from the Waff. If you time your mantle correctly on something, only if you time it correctly, you will avoid the smoke. But it's very hard to time. Sajak with the down. That's a wipe. Nine to three now. Two minutes on the clock. This might this might be over for first map. Sedjak with one execution, but don't worry, Nawaf is here to finish all his downs for him. I'm all done. Let's go. Smoke. Sedjak getting nailboarded. Getting traded though. Oh, and Nawaf with the beautiful two tap with the variable rifle. Only the variable rifle can be able to hit those shots when you scope in. No bloom whatsoever. Pinpoint accuracy. Nawaf with 13 executions. Clean up for his team. Natex getting killed, getting sniped from Hardum. This looks like it's gonna be it. Nine to zero. One minute. Let's go. Thirty seconds on the clock. I, I'm pretty sure this first map's gonna go to old school ninety here. Hurry! 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 
Nate takes with the smoke, getting them off. But Haru does get the finish, not slowing down to two people. This looks like it's going to be over. Game one, ladies and gentlemen. Noah for 14 executions. <laughs> they just try to spawn trap, but getting three men. <laughs> Kings are paying a 1v1 now. And that will be it for game number one, ladies and gentlemen. First map goes to old school 90. Old school 90. Alrighty, and with that, we're going to go ahead and pause this and head over to the other team and watch their perspective. This is the perspective of Boyums. Next map is going to be University. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in late, this is the Season 5 Playoff Semi Finals. $600 on the line. Team Benedictimus consisting of Boyum, Chings Pain, and Natex versus Old School 90, Anbic, I, Cedric, and Nawaf. And I personally think, uh, I'm a, I personally think Old School 90 is going to take the series. I don't know if this is going to go to Game 5. To be honest, I don't know unless unless, De unless Benedict Smith like the other night, you know, go down this map and then try to make the reverse sweep. But to be honest, I feel like Old School Knight is probably gonna take the series. I would say three one three two in their favor. I don't think it's gonna be a three zero. I could be wrong. I definitely don't think it's gonna be three zero. But I do think Old School Knight is gonna win the series three one three two. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but that's why I'm that's what I'm feeling watching. Hunters were spotted in this area. Stay alert. Check. Again, I understand that gym is a very slow start. But this is University, one of the bigger maps. You gotta be very careful on these maps. Maps are very big. Have different pacings of the game, different pushes, different encounters. So right now both teams are just trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Again, this is semifinals for six hundred dollars. There is no loot bracket. You don't wanna make any mistakes right here. Look out! Chains and pain gain smokes. Does get smoked. See! Thank you. 
good cover there from Boyum to making sure no one was on his left. I'm surprised no one was on his left. Down. down. He's down. Does get the trade. Chains of Pain does trade him out. Hardo is on the far left with the sniper. Gain that angle. Spawn strategies, Boyum. Hardo with the snipes across the map, stopping all the pushes. And the revives going off. I Hardo just sniped every player. He sniped Kings, or I think he's been got a kill from Noaf. Sniped Apex and then he sniped Boyums. Ambic just rent real huge for his team. He was on that left side too. Now it's twenty to sixteen. The enemy team has all all of top. Keep an eye out. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Finish. Move out. Look alive. I was about to say them crafting all in the open right there. I'm surprised no one shot at them, but someone was at the broken wall. Just got there a little second late. They got there a little quicker. They probably kill everyone. This all. Point to sixteen. University. Teen and pain gaining out snipe from Hardo. And, and on university, if your sniper is not winning his fight, this game's gonna be a whole lot harder. Chains of Pain right now is getting outsniped from Hardo. Hardo has been pinpoint accurate so far. I don't know if we can keep pushing many. much longer. Hunter. One player is middle stairs, another player is in uh, flower pot, right side. Yeah, this person middle stairs, uh, uh... Dragon! Dragon, look alive. Fifteen twenty five minutes to pass. This is gonna be one of those games where it's just gonna get dragged out. That's how it has to go on university. Located their way. Bombs arm careful. Off getting pushed. Off making a run for it, going all the way bottom. Off a little bit of a pickle. He's kinda stuck out in the middle. They're probably gonna try to work him. So Cedric and Hardo have to really try to cover him. Chains of Pain dodged that smoke. Wow, very surprised. He was really close to him. Chains of Pain does nail board him, get it down, gets trade out though. Boyum's trying to push up. Both players cross. Cedric one shot. Cedric going down. Nice, I got you. Oh, oh Natex goes no. down. Chinks of Pain gets finished. Saw Ajax is probably gonna get rezzed. Smoke, get in way. Beautiful play from Boyums. Blue, no beautiful. Does he get the revive? Boyums does get the revive. That is beautiful last of us play right there. He knows the melee in this game makes you ice skate. Oh, you he knows it. He's got his skates on and he went to go give Arrow that beautiful skate dance. And he got him. That's what they needed. Nine minutes left. They have top control. Chains of Pain is already bottom, One left waiting for the waiting about. for the revives or the spawns. Excuse me. And he gets 200 parts for that uh, streak stopped. Fully upgraded burst. Hold up. Down by a team wipe. Okay, They're right it. back in this, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Right back got in. It.
I'm assuming all the player. I uh, I mean, nah, there's no way they spawn top. Cause I mean, Chings and Pain was kind of close to their spawn bottom, but I think they're all bottom. I don't think they got that split. Or maybe they are back. Oh no, he is here. Noff gets caught. Get trade off from the right. Hunter! We find Noff and Sedjok. We do not know where Hardo is yet. Gotta be careful on him. Not sure if he's here or not. Scratch one. Trying to look for Melissa, doesn't see him. Hardo is. He has a sniper, and uh, I don't know. He hasn't shown himself yet. Uh, for all I know, Cedric is the only one here. I'm not sure they spawn strategies on him. I, I don't really know. Six minutes on the clock, only down by one team wipe. I mean, they have a lot of time. At the same time, I feel like someone's gonna get shot in the back, and Chinks Man gets one burst from Cedric. See, Chinks Man has a sniper. I don't know why he's pushing Cedric alone. And Cedric gets uh, Boyums. You see, I think Boim should have been up there. I don't know why. I don't know why Chains of Pain's leading that push with the sniper, and Boim should be up there with the burst. And I, I still haven't seen Hardo. I know he's somewhere. Oh, there he is. Got rifle. Smoke out! Fucking blind! They're using smoke! Yeah. Arno knows he has to back up. He's against the burst rifle. Right yeah. Boyums with the one burst on Hardo. Huge win for him. Better look alive! He needs to be careful though. It's actually gonna be pushed up by this wall right here. Is he not here? Oh, I thought Cedric was here. No one comes back from that. Nine to fifteen. I hear the other players dropping down, pushing back. Fifteen, four minutes on the clock. Other teams going to set up. I mean, yeah, they 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 lost the lead in the very beginning of the game. They have not been able to get it back at all this entire game. Doesn't see anyone. Again, Williams is not with his team. He's leading the. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Down. Oh boy. Yeah, it it yeah it's it's, it's 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 tough. It's tough pushing out this university building. This is the only thing I can say. Natex not having a great game right now either. And again, Ching Pain should not be the one leading those pushes. I feel like Boyms has to be there with the burst rifle. He has a burst rifle. I'm 
bleeding out here. Got a straggler! Hold on. Game one versus from Boyums. Beautiful. Oh, you want. Fire. Ice. Oh my goodness. No off drop, no off right above him. That's one down. I, I heard him too. I guess he just didn't hear him. I guess he. It sounded like he was behind the trash can too. I didn't think he was above him. Okay, got it. One less hunter to worry about. I mean, Bloom's got a god tier spawn. Five to twelve, two minutes and thirty. I mean, it's possible, but. Getting snipe, Ching's being with that snipe on Hardo. Five to eleven now. They need to turn around and go back to bottom. They're gonna spawn bottom. This is possible to make the comeback, but they have to be. They have to do this perfect. Another team has to not be able to trade kills. So doable, but uh, very doable. But yeah, as you can see, very very hard. This other team is very skilled. I'm not gonna let that happen. Ching's being with it down though. Straggler, look alive. Finished. Move out. Sniper. Natex getting caught from Cedric with the burst. Natex 0-1-6 now having a real rough game. Really rough game. He needs to stick with his teammates here. Pushing it alone. Nate, I feel like Natex and Boyams need to stick together. So far it's been Natex and Chinese Pink sticking together, but. If the sniper is that close and not hitting the shots, I think the burst should just be there instead. Straggler! Okay, got it. Jaws coming out from Boyum, but unable to down him. Chingsman does get it down. Forty seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. That is Smoke it for this map. Bullshit to take this. <laughs> no off of getting one burst executed. Hold on, I'll patch you up. With the one burst execution, but this map is over. There's not enough time to come back. One less to worry about. Watch my six. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this next map gonna be it for Team Benediximus. Next map is match point for them. They will be knocked out of the playoffs if they lose the next map. Will Old School 3-0 Benediximus or will Benediximus next map turn this around and begin their reverse sweep against Old School 90? And with that, we're gonna go right back ahead and watch Nawaf's perspective to see if he can claim and end this. Ladies and gentlemen, my prediction might be right. If you're tuning in late, this is the Season 5 Playoff t Lou Esports Semi-Finals. $600 on the line. Team Old School 90 have taken the series up 2-0. Map count consisting of Ambic, Noaf, and Sedjuk. Versus Ben and Diximus, Boyums, Chingus Bane, and Natix. Ben and Diximus is at match point. If they lose this next map, they are out of the playoffs. They are out of the money. There is no loser's bracket. This will be it. Do they get 3 0 Do they begin their reverse sweep? Do they have the conversation of, we are not going to go down like this? Or are we going to get bested by Old School 90?
I mean, my prediction might be right. This might be a 3-0, 3-1 in the favor of Old School 90. Which is surprising because we watched Ben and Dixmas, uh, the other map, able to reverse sweep Renaissance when they were up 2-0. So we'll see Ben Dixon's reverse sweep Old School 90. They have done it before, but Old School 90 is a very tough opponent as well. So we'll see. And of course, I am your commentary for Tax Courageous, former Range Champion, current Hall of Famer. Thank you for all of you fine ladies and gentlemen tuning in on this fine Sunday afternoon. And again, please, please follow Tilo Esports on Twitter. Follow Tilo Esports. Uh, or I'm sorry, uh, join the Discord, Tilo Esports. Twitter is for notifications. Discord to join. TiloEsports.com if you are interested in participating in these type of matches and in fu uh, like future tournaments as well. And once again, we are watching the WAF with this variable rifle on the perspective of Old School 90. Will they complete the 3 0? Heard there are supplies in the area, and also Cedric with the burst, Harder with the sniper, and of course Noaf with the variable rifle yeah. here. Same gun, same people. You already know. Noaf gained the smoke bomb right off the bat, pushing up on that left side with the variable. Hardo gets a body shot on the enemy player, already gained rid of his resources. I'm now I'm for sure this player has no health kit no more. Hardo gained outside from Chings and Pain, and no, they traded smoke bomb. Come oh, oh, the smoke bomb is. Oh no, he got it. Noaf. Beautiful play by Noaf. Noaf in a 1v1 now. He's dancing with them. He's dancing with them. He's dancing with them. Noaf dancing with them. He's always oh, gonna give it to him. Is he dancing with them? And he gets it. He trades him out. He trades him out. Noaf. Noaf is just. He's just crouch walking around them. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh my goodness. Noaf with the plays. That whole way he played that entire fight was beautiful. At first, I thought he threw his smoke bomb short. It wasn't gonna connect. But he threw it actually perfect. Well played from Nawaf. That is hilarious. <laughs> He's just crouching around the whole time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well played. Up up by a squad wipe now. And last was with that slow camera sense, man. That is, that's the problem. If you don't know, last one's has camera sense, everyone's the same, but once you aim in, that sense is all different. Well done, so he go. knows just a mess of them. And now, <laughs> Team Benediction is down by a whole squad by two minutes into the game. Cedric, I think Cedric traded out over there. Smoke bomb coming out from the off. This could be really good. Gets a stun. Oh, no, off game. Oh, my goodness, that angle. Nate takes with the burst. Yo, no off just got hit from, like, I think, Golden Door. I think no off got down from, like, Golden Door. Uh, I'm not sure. He got down from some crazy angle. And Nate takes now with the burst rifle. He does not have the variable anymore. After you're not getting, after getting zero downs on university, he, you know, made that decision to switch guns. Seventeen to sixteen now. Uh oh. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a disconnect in the semifinals of season five playoffs. Unfortunate. 
But with the rules that are stated, the match must go on. Unless the other... Um... It would seem... It would seem that Benedict Smith agreed to restart the map. Benedict Smith did not have to restart that map. They are fully allowed to continue that map and play a 2v3. But if Benedict Smith agreed to restart this map, then they're fine. If not, then they can take the map from them. But considering that he shot his guns, I'm assuming he meant that it was fine to restart it. Which is very respectful. Once again, full respect to Ben Dixmas. They did not have to do that. It, the rules state if a player leaves after there's already been a certain amount of time or kills, they cannot rejoin the match and they, the match cannot be stopped. So Ben Dixmas could have easily played that out 2v3 and probably won the map. But they shot their gun, so let uh, Old School 90 know that it's fine to back out. We can restart the map. It is fine. Which is, again, full respect to Ben Dixmas. But once again, they did not have to do that. So full respect to them. That is sportsmanship. That's what you love to see here on TiloEsports.com. Full respect to Boyum's Chings Bane and Natex. They're down they're down 2-0 too, ladies and gentlemen. That could have easily been them getting right back into the getting right back up 2 to 1. Full respect to them, ladies and gentlemen. Full respect. That's what it's about. So for anyone tuning in late, we did start checkpoint. Um, ben Dixmas was up 17 to 16. The player I said, Jack, game crashed, and it seems that Ben Dixmas agreed to restart the map. Which again, full respect to them. I respect the sportsmanship. I just want it to be known that it, it, by the rules, they did not have to do that. So it's full sportsmanship, full respect to Ben Dixmas to let that happen. And now we're right back, ladies and gentlemen. Like nothing ever happened. Right back on checkpoint once again. Oh, team Old School 90 is up 2-0 in the series. Benedict is down 2-0. So they need to win this map. They really do. There's a Firefly base close by. Be careful and stick together. All right, right back to it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see if he gets a smoke bomb again. He does. Noaf gets another smoke bomb. Lucky you, huh? Must be nice. Every time he hit the f oh and snipe coming out of Ambic, gets that down on the cross, and finishes Chings in pain. All done. Let's go. Now, once again, old school ninety up to a strong start here on checkpoint. This player is gonna. Yep. Williams with the sniper now, or not? Excuse me, sniper. Silent semi-auto now. That one's dead. Point of 17. Pushing it out. Fire. Fire station. Wayne 17 here. It's it, it pretty much the same thing just happened last game. Beginning of the first game, they're up 2017. And now this this restart, they're up 2017 again. Alright man, I'm good to go. So once again, Ben Dixon is in the same spot again. Down by four.
And let's say they're just gonna go back and set up. Off or excuse me, Cedric out there on the far right getting that fight going on in 24. Not sure if we got that down though. Cedric is pushing up to the brown van too. Got to, got to be a little careful there. They ain't got many left. He Keep does get the, he did get that down 20 to 15 now. 12 minutes on the clock. It's, it's literally been three minutes. Yo, Natex is one. Sh Yo, Natex should have died there. Oh, oh, Natex with the burst action. Yo, Nate takes one shot with the variable there. If if um Nawaf didn't miss that shot, he goes down there and Boyums is left alone. Well played from Natex though. Pop shot and getting that burst down. Now Sedchuk has to get out. He's running, look at him. He's out. He's gone. Just getting the burst, and this is the correct play. Look at this. You you're alone, you run to the very back, wait for your teammates, waste enough time. Down by a squad wipe now. All players are stuck here. Look, Firefly! Bots Boyums. Boyums no longer has a, a burst rifle though. He is a semi-auto science player right now. Boyums well, needs to be careful. This is the variable. Bomb set. Watch your ass. I respect that bomb out of Noaf, but I think I think their teammate. Uh, I think Boyums here alone now. Boyums is here alone. I'm not sure what happened with Chings of Pain and Natex on that left side push. They got wiped here. 18 to 13 now. What? Why? I, I don't understand. Okay, so who is this in the fire truck? Natex in the fire truck? Yeah, I mean. That for him not to go back, like as a, as he's alone, like, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of, yeah. You see, he just dies now. And both players are top. I don't think Nate should have been here. Now he's gonna get spawn time too. That's one. Down. Sounds like with the trade. This isn't looking good. Benedict Smith has not been able to get out of the spawn trap in a while. They are just getting spawn trap. Like in this player right here, Natex once again should not be here. He should be waiting for his team to come back. Now he's just gonna get one v three. Watch it, sniper! Natex does get Sadrick actually. Well, too soon, but at the same time, I don't know. Arados go down. I mean, there's nine minutes on the clock. There's a lot of time for them to come back, but if Van Dixis doesn't start, they're going to lose. All right, Noaf, you're you're dead here. I respect the play here, but... Oh, look at the smoke. Look at the smoke. <laughs> Perfect smoke. Perfect smoked. I mean, he didn't have to throw the smoke. He was getting flanked either way, but Nate is like, yeah, I'm just going to make sure, bro. Sedra getting smoked himself. Does avoid the smoke. Ardo's dumpster just waiting, just baiting. Sedra is very weak. Fifteen to nine, they're they're still in this. Eight minutes on the clock. If Ben Dixmas gets his team wipe, they're they're fine. Yeah, 
This is the they need this team up right here right now. Hardo does get stunned. The two bombs coming out. Oh my goodness! Did, I don't know. Uh, if that bomb went through the door and blew up and down, no, no off, that would have been perfect. Let's see him take this. Let's move. Oh. No off with the slide melee. Gets him down. Nate takes with the with the burst and the nail board and gets them both. Twelve to eight now. And I believe these players might get spawn time, or that he's for sure getting spawn time. Okay, so Hard is gonna get spawn time. And oh wait, yo, look at this, yo, yo, bro, you're telling me this spawn's fine? Are they that pushed up on the other side for them to spawn dumpster again? Are you serious right now, ladies and gentlemen? They just spawned here again. Benedictus must have been too pushed up on the other side. There's just no way they spawned here. That is insane. They got this spawn. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Now you know how much time is going to get wasted. And Dixmas on the other side of the map was way too pushed up. That's that's the only thing that could happen there, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Dixmas on the other side of the map were way too far pushed up. They, this team, Old School 9, should not be here again. And now they're wasting all the time checking over there because they think they're over there. Oh, man. Only not by four, but that's going to waste a lot of time. They're not going to figure that out right away. Ben Dixmas is going to go clear out that whole side, then come back. Now look at this, and I was just a waste of time. Everyone, the, if I see a smoke bomb get thrown on the other side of the map, I'm going to cry for them. I hope not. I hope I hope they realize their mistake and come back. That's it. That's insane. That's so funny. Well, it looks like Ben and Dixon has realized and they're coming back now, but they don't know Cedric's behind the dumpster. Cedric's going to kill everyone right now. I feel like Cedric's going to... This is this isn't good. I, I This isn't good. I can already tell. All right, they know Hardo's up here, but they don't know where Nawaf or Cedric is. Chinks of Pain coming out. Chinks of Pain does dodge his bullets. Cedric, very patient. Cedric's being very patient. He knows he can probably come around the corner and kill Chinks of Pain, and he's coming. He's coming. Three, two, one. Or is he, he's in this corner. He's in this little corner. Fuck, dude. Look at this little corner he has to himself. Cedric so can't kill him. If he comes out, he's gonna die. I hope Chingsipain knows that. Cedric did shoot. He should know now. Chingsipain Pain cannot challenge. He's stuck in that little corner. This little box. I don't think he's down, right? Or is he down? No, he's not down. He's just stuck in that little corner. Oh boy. Okay, it looks like Chainsmith did make it inside. Sedrock, Sedrock, Sedrock's back there. Ardo did go down. I'll fix you up. Sedrock has it down. Sedrock got the execution. Sedrock gets traded out though. Sedrock doing his part though. He gets a trade. That's what he has to do. He's fine now. Now it's up to his teammates to get this two v three. Natex getting comboed. Fucking blind. Careful now, it's a firefly. That one sure is dead. Kings of pain alone here. Three minutes on the clock. All right, good to go. 
This might be it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Spots both players. Firefly, watch yourself. Ten to six, up by four. Looks like they're gonna leave Hard over there and see if we can get a kill. Just leave him alone, waste time. Hardo does go down. I don't think he got a kill. This might not, not be good. Is he going to spawn strat? No, he doesn't spawn strat here, right? No, he doesn't. Two minutes on the clock. Nine to six. And Dick Smith's right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. They got, they got to do this. This is it. This is map. This is um, match point. Down by three. Down two maps. This push right here, ladies and gentlemen, will determine their fate in the playoffs. Season five, six hundred dollars on the line. And he takes with the down on Hardo. Now it's just Sedjuk and um, Noff. Noff throwing that smoke to stop them. Doesn't get the stun. Gets them all and gets Hardo. This this might be it. And I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen, with that push. 40 seconds on the clock, 9 to 3. I don't believe Benedict Smith has enough time to make the comeback. I think that is it for their playoffs run. Yep, and with that execution, seals the deal. Ladies and gentlemen, old school 90 take the series 3 0 against Benediximus and take Benediximus out of the playoffs. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, GG's to both teams, and once again, huge respect and props to Benediximus to not take that 2v3 and respectfully back out and let Sedjok rejoin the game. Restart the map oh, there in square 3v3. So please, once again, GG's to both teams, but huge props to Ben Dixmas for having that sportsmanship and not taking that 2v3 match. GG's all around. GG's all around. Ladies and gentlemen. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the semifinals of the Season 5 playoffs. We will be having another match later on today, ladies and gentlemen. We will be having Destro versus NBA in a little bit later, about approximately two hours. If you want to know when that match happens, please join the Discord. TitoEsports.com is the website. Tito Esports on Twitter to get notified. So yes, once again... Thank you all for watching. Tilu Esports on Twitter, tiluesports.com. If you want to get notified about the next match that's going to happen, because there will be another match NBA versus Destro. Please, please, please. Follow the Twitter, Tilu Esports. The website is tiluesports.com if you want to participate in matches like this and get your chance at winning prize pools as well and gold trophies and the clout, of course. The Discord, Twitter, you need to join it to be notified. NBA versus Destro will happen today. Shaft Eagle versus Last of Us Prodigy. Who will win? Who will go to the finals and face Old School 90? The only way to find out is to join the Discord and follow us on Twitter. Join the website if you want to compete in matches like this or just to see how you would uh, you know, play against other players of this skill level, right? But yeah, that's it for me for now, ladies and gentlemen. I am your commentator, Fantastic Rages. Thank you all so much for watching. GG's both teams. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we will be having another match in two hours. Please join the Discord. Please follow us on Twitter. You're all beautiful, ladies and gentlemen.
And that is it for me today. You all have a wonderful day. Peace.